today I'm going to show you how to get the answers to questions 10 through 12 <clears throat> on the assessment. And this is where we kind of step back and consider all these different options, these three basic options um, together and compare them. And in the first one, <clears throat> we um, uh, kept the temperature close to about a two degree warming by the end of the model run by uh, energy conservation and an increased reliance on renewable energy. The next one, we um, achieved that same temperature level approximately through geoengineering and direct carbon removal. And then the third case um, shown in the blue here was the sulfate aerosol geoengineering. <clears throat> so the question is, uh, for 10, which of these three scenarios is the best from an economic standpoint? There are lots of different ways of looking at the economic um, performance of each of these three, but I think the one that sort of sums it all up best is this total costs per capita. <clears throat> so these are costs per person uh, that we're going to have to pay for uh, producing the energy and the consequences of producing that energy in the form of climate change or uh, moderating it in terms of geoengineering costs. And you can see um, the two geoengineering cases here are pretty close to the same, 9.3 and 9.2 thousand. The conservation um, scenario and renewable energy one is considerably less expensive, so 2.4 thousand per person compared to nine. So that's the clear winner. Um, and so that's answer A for 10. <clears throat> 11 asks which of the three scenarios is best uh, from an ocean pH standpoint. And so here we have to look at graph page number two. <clears throat> and now these are shown um, in different scales. This just shows the pH for um, the, the last one, the conservation one. And that was at 8.06. And if you remember from before, that's about the same, close to the same that we got with the, the DCR geoengineering. So those two are about the same. Sulfate geoengineering, uh, the, the pH got down to 7.58, which is really uh, a pretty dramatic um, acidification of the ocean. So that's, that's the worst by far. Conservation and renewables are close to the same. There's not a clear winner. So the best answer is D, which is A and B are about the same. And the last question in the assessment, 12, <clears throat> asks from an overall environmental and economic standpoint, which of the three scenarios is the best? Well, as we saw, in terms of pH, the conservation of renewables and the, the DCR geoengineering are about the same. <clears throat> in terms of temperature, they're all more or less the same by the time we get to the, the end of time. Although, you know, you could say that, that the conservation and renewable approach here kept us at a lower ten temperature for more of the time. So that might be preferable in that sense. But then the, the other thing, the economic standpoint, as we saw before, this uh, conservation and renewable <clears throat> scenario shown here in green, that's the clear winner. So if you take all these things together, the conservation and renewable scenario is the best uh, overall from an environmental and economic standpoint. So that's answer A on the uh, assessment, and that's the correct answer.